In this video, shared by Dr. Daniel Lozada from Sao Paulo, Brazil, we will discuss a minimally invasive surgical technique for choroidal drainage in a case of suprachoroidal hemorrhage. This involves a patient who developed suprachoroidal hemorrhage during a complicated phacoemulsification with posterior capsule rupture, necessitating choroidal drainage after two weeks. We begin with corneopexy using 6-0 silk suture. Next, a trocar is positioned in the anterior chamber to connect the infusion line in order to pressurize it at the moment of choroidal drainage. We measure 8 mm posterior to the limbus at the point of the largest choroidal detachment pocket identified on ocular ultrasound. Then, we use a non-valve 23-gauge trocar to perform choroidal drainage. It is important that the trocar is inserted at an angle of at least 30 degrees to avoid retinal injury during choroidal drainage. We also observe the deepening of the anterior chamber at the time of drainage. Afterwards, a chandelier is positioned and we can observe the complete resolution of the hemorrhagic choroidal detachment areas under non-contact visualization, confirming the effectiveness of the procedure.